arginine. There are several other compounds that dilate blood vessels. One is Hawthorne. And interestingly enough, there's recent research that shows that aged garlic extract will actually dilate blood vessels in a totally different mechanism. So all of these are options for, quote, natural Viagra. But the important thing is, if you're looking for help in the erection department, you need to totally examine your diet and change it immediately. It's one of the scariest things that you should be aware of. I have a very good friend in longevity who used to say, men, no matter what your age, if you don't wake up early in the morning with a boner, death is on the way. And he actually makes an incredibly good point. And all you guys who are listening, you better be waking up with one or something's radically wrong with your blood vessels. Whoa, is that scary or what? Uh, next question, I have low testosterone and it's affecting my sex drive. How do I improve it? Well, first of all, are you sure you have low testosterone? The usual test that's available in most doctor's offices and most labs is total testosterone. But what you actually want is free testosterone. The reason for that is there are a large number of men who make this hilariously sounding compound called sex hormone binding globulin. And if you make sex hormone binding globulin, a great deal of your testosterone will be bound to this protein and it will not be available. So, for instance, I see many men who walk through the door with testosterones of a thousand, and yet they are weak, they have no muscle mass, and when we measure their free testosterone, their free testosterone is low because they have a very high sex hormone binding globulin, which we also measure. On the other hand, the vast majority of men who I see with low T, with low testosterone, actually have a normal free testosterone. So you can ignore total testosterone as a useful test. What you want to ask for is free testosterone. Now here's the other important point. Most men who I see with low testosterone can absolutely positively have a normal free testosterone if they will give up sugars and carbohydrates. Remember those commercials when testosterone was available as prescriptions and you could advertise it? All those guys talking about their low T were sitting around the campfire eating chips and having a beer. And it's amazing the number of men that I see who have pre-diabetes, high insulin levels, or diabetes who have low testosterone and they come in looking for a testosterone prescription. And first of all, I won't write for it because I have not met a man yet who cannot get a normal free testosterone by changing his diet, by getting rid of the sugars and carbohydrates in their diet. And these men come back shocked that they now have normal testosterone. The other important thing to realize if you are considering testosterone replacement